Well, Bells, well, Mr. Downtown Ray Molly, and listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, January 4th, 2022, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Answer Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or an iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Space Force Season 2 is coming to Netflix in February. The streaming service shared a poster and a release date February 18th for the season Monday on Twitter. The poster features Steve Carell as Mark Arnard, the Chief Space Operations at Space Force, John Malkovich as Dr. Adrian Mal- uh, Mallory, Ben Schwartz as F. Tony uh, Scarapaducci, Diana Silvers as Aaron Nard, and Tawny Newsom as Captain Angela Ali. The caption reads, Not even gravity can keep them down. Space Force returns on February 18th. Space Force is created by Carell and Greg Daniels, who previously worked together on The Office. The series follows Nard, played by Carell, and his team at a fictional version of the United States Space Force, uh, the Space uh, Service branch of the U.S. Army uh, Armed Forces. Space Force premiered in May 2020. The first season also featured and Jimmy O. Yang. TNT released a new trailer for Season 3 of Snowpiercer on Monday. The series returns January 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A teaser released in December introduced Asha, played by Archie Punjabi, a survivor of the eight-year Ice Age. The new trailer shows more of her hideout, complete with a garden and metal armor that help her survive outside the Snowpiercer train. On the train, an announcement promises to uh, consider the passenger's feedback in how to approach new possibilities for survival. In private, Wilford, played by Sean Bean, makes it clear that he's still going to do things his way. TNT synopsis says Leighton, played by David Diggs, will lead a pirate train of 10 cars with eight rebels seeking Melanie, played by Jennifer Connelly, in a warmer climate in the trailer. Leighton decides to, quote, get our train back, and Connelly uh, does appear in the new footage. Sarah, played by Sheila Van, uh, sits in belly. Allison Rye, Roberto Urbina, Rowan Blanchard, Kate McGinnis, Mickey Summer, Ida Goldberg, Lena Hall, Annalise Basso, Sam Otto, Michael Mallory, Chelsea Harris, and Stephen Ogg also star in Season 3. Graham Mason created the TV adaptation of the 2013 movie. Bong Joon-ho adapted the French comic book for the 2013 movie. Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest hosted their daytime talk show live with Kelly and Ryan virtually once again on Monday due to COVID-19. Ripa joked to kick off the show on Monday as she and Seacrest appeared virtually at their homes. Don't just your dials were coming to you from the studio, which we made it to look like two separate bedrooms. Um, Seacrest uh, said about the latest COVID-19 virus, we are back at home out of abundance of the caution with the Omicron virus. Live with Kelly and Ryan previously went vu- virtual in March 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic before the show returned to its New York City studio in September 2020. Ripa said on Monday, I don't think there is a person in America right now, and probably in Canada as well, who doesn't know somebody who has COVID right now. This new variant of the coronavirus or has had it recently or is about to get it. The new COVID-19 cases continue to as 2022 gets underway, the U.S. reported 2.7 million new COVID-19 cases in the week ending with New Year's Eve on Friday, up to 105% from the previous week. Whoopi Goldberg is recovering at home after testing positive for COVID-19. Joy Behar, Goldberg's co-host of The View, announced the news on Monday. Um, Behar says, why am I here instead of Whoopi? Well, Whoopi unfortunately tested positive with a break, but she'll be back probably next week. Uh, she added, she's vaxxed and boosted. Her symptoms have been very, very mild, but we're being super cautious here at The View. Uh, Behar, fellow host Sonny Hilston and Sarah Haynes and guest host Anna Navarro are, uh, filming from home the, uh, this week as a precaution. On Monday, Halston said she and her mom also tested positive for COVID-19 over the holiday break, but have since recovered. 
Navarro's father uh, also tested positive for the virus, but was able to join the family for New Year's. Goldberg previously said on Good Morning America that she's not going to argue with people who don't follow COVID-19 safety protocols. She says, uh, we could have been past all this by now, but but we are a nation of hard heads and soft backsides. So now we'll take another year to figure out how to do this and hopefully make it easier for the little kids. Goldberg in a view kicked off season 25 in September. Kenan Thompson paid homage to the late Betty White while appearing on NBC's Today on Monday. White was the guest host of Saturday Night Live in 2010 and appeared on Saturday Night Live's 40th anniversary special in 2015. The legendary actress died in December uh, 31st at the age of 99 weeks before her 100th birthday. Thompson said about White before noting that she received a standing ovation during an SNL after party. I think she was one of the most beloved people we've ever had come host. I had the pleasure of doing a sketch with her that will go down in my memory bank and history forever. It was a pleasure to watch a professional at work for a week. She was just such a doll. NBC aired White's 2010 episode of SNL a day after her death to honor her. Thompson returns for season two of his sitcom titled Keenan, which premieres Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC. Disney Plus is shining a spotlight on the Book of Boba Fett characters Major Dormo and Madame Garza Fwip. The streaming service shared photos for the Star Wars uh, series Monday featuring David Pasquale as Mozak Zakes Major Domo and Jennifer Beals as Madame Garza. The Major Domo is in the Tweak Messenger and right hand of Seek, the mayor of Mos Espa City in Tatanoi. Meanwhile, Madame Garza is the Tweak and old, own, uh, owner of the sanctuary, a cantina in Mos Epa. <coughs> Major Domo and Madame Garza are both introduced in Episode 1, Chapter 1 of the Book of Boba Fett, which premiered Wednesday. Pasquale is known for playing Andrew Mayer on Veep and Basse St. John on Lodge 49, while Beals portrayed Betty Porter on The L Word and The L Word Generation. The Book of Boba Fett as he takes over Jabba the Hutt's criminal empire in Tananoi. Morrison previously played Fett in the show The Mandalorian. Sophia Bush says One Tree Hill remains an incredible driving force in her career. The 39-year-old actress discussed Drama Queens, her One Tree Hill podcast, and the possibility of a reboot during Monday's episode of CBS Morning. Uh, Bush played uh, Brooke Davis on One Tree Hill, which aired for nine seasons on the WBCW from 2003 to 2012. She hosts Drama Queens with her co-star Bethany Joy Lenz and Hilary Burton, who played Haley James Scott and Peyton Sawyer, respectfully. <clears throat> GMA, Butch said Drama Queens has been a way to reconnect with Scott and Sawyer and reclaim the power they didn't have, they didn't always have in their early careers. Uh, Butch said of One Tree Hill, for us, I think it was an incredible driving force. It's a show that launched all of our careers, where we were on it together for nine years. Joy and Hillary, and I just thought, as young women coming up in the... As uh, so many women... Uh, did not. For us, that was really about reclaiming our show. It was about taking the joy and the power back and taking out the trash. Bush confirmed she is open to a One Tree Hill reboot. She says, we've always said never say never. I think our podcast has proved that as three producers, we have a lot of ideas. That's kind of all I can say at this point. One Tree Hill was created by Mark Schwann and also starred Chad Michael Murray, James Lafferty, Paul Johansson, and Lee Norris. Which will next star is Dr. Samantha Sam Griffin on the CBS medical drama Good Sam, which premieres on Wednesday. Pat Oswald is addressing his friendship with Dave Chappelle and how he has received backlash due to Chappelle's previous comments about the transgender community. Oswald received flack after he uploaded on Instagram a photo of himself with Chappelle after he joined the fellow comedian for a stand up set on New Year's Eve. Chappelle came under fire for his new Netflix special, The Closer, with transgender employees and creators at Netflix organizing a walkout in October due to the content of the special. The walkout received support from Elliot Page, Lily Wyszkowski, uh, Joyce Salloway, Eureka, and more. 
Uh, Oswald said on Sunday in a lengthy uh, post alongside a photo of himself writing on a notepad, 34 years we've been friends. He refocused and refined ideas a lot of us took a settle as, as settle about race and history and life on planet on Earth and spun them around with the phrase and punchline. We've done bad and good gigs, open mics and TV tapings. Disagree. Um, with where we where he stands now on transgender issues, but I all, I also don't believe a seeker like him is then evolving and learning. Oswald went on to mention how he has been carrying around guilt about friends he has cut off before having views he didn't agree with. He also apologized about any hurt his original post with Chappelle might have caused, and for deleting comments on the original post. He concluded by saying, "I want a nice common thread about the pick with my friend." So easy to think someone else needs growth and miss the need in yourself. Gonna try, gonna try that again. Former NFL star Chad Johnson and his fiance selling Tampa star Sherelle Rosado have announced the birth of their first child together, a baby girl. Johnson said on Instagram Sunday alongside a photo of himself cutting the baby's umbilical cord, just delivered Serenity Hurricane Paula Johnson. I still have two last uh, slots available for January. Uh, Johnson is already father to seven other children from previous relationships. Serenity marks Rosado's fourth child. Rosado had her pregnancy showcase on Netflix's Selling Tampa Season 1, which launched in December. The show captured moments that Rosado told Johnson that she was pregnant. Selling Tampa is a spinoff of Selling Sunset that follows Rosado leading at an all-black, all-female team of real estate agents. Johnson famously played for the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals and competed in Season 10 of Dancing with the Stars. Olivia Munn is celebrating the arrival of 2022 with her infant son Malcolm He Mullaney in a new photo that was uploaded on Instagram. Uh, the actress captioned the post on Sunday, Happy New Year. The photo features Munn laying down on bed with Malcolm. Newborn, who Munn shares with the comedian John Mulaney, has, uh, has his mouth open and is looking at his mother while she holds his hand. Uh, Munn gave birth in November and released the first photo of, of Malcolm in December. Munn and Mulaney started dating in the spring 2021 after the comedian went to rehab for drug addiction. Mulaney pre was previously married to Anna Marie Tendler for six years, uh, with the divorce being finalized in July. Mulaney said about Munn and going to rehab in September while appearing on Late Night with Seth Meyers, I got into this relationship that has been really beautiful with someone incredible. You, you guys saved me from, uh, from drugs and Olivia, and this baby has helped save me from myself. Model Ashley Graham is celebrating reacting to the 40-week mark of being pregnant with twin boys on Instagram. Graham captioned the post on Sunday, Made a full term today, 40 weeks. Due dates are just a suggestion. Babies will always come on their birthdays. Uh, Graham, uh, 34, uploaded photos of herself laying down on a bed that showcased her baby bump. Um, fellow no uh, model Naomi Campbell said in the comments, simply divine wishing you beautiful and safe birth. Uh, Graham stated in September that she was expecting twin boys with her husband, Justin Irvin, after she announced her pregnancy in July. The couple who got married in 2010 already are parents to one-year-old son, Isaac. Graham has modeled for Sports Illustrated, Lake Bryan, and Edition L. Kendall Jenner spent a cozy weekend with her boyfriend, Devin Booker. The 26-year-old uh, model and television personality shared a slideshow of photos Sunday on Instagram from her New Year's celebration with Booker, a professional basketball player for the Phoenix Suns. One picture showed Jenner wearing a headband that reads Happy New Year, while another photo shows Jenner and Booker getting close as they post for a selfie mirror. Fans remark on how Booker is wearing a gold ring in the photo, sparkling engagement rumors. Uh, Jenner captioned a post, My Weekend. Uh, Jenner's sisters, Courtney uh, Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and Khloe Kardashian were among those to comment. Uh, Booker posted a photo on his own account of Jenner walking up to a brightly lit home. Uh, Jenner and Booker made their relationship on Instagram official on Valentine's Day in February 2021. The couple were first linked in April 2020 when they took a road trip from Los Angeles to Arizona.
Ben Simmons and Blake Griffin. She also dated former One Direction singer Harry Styles Jenner. And her family came to fame on the E! reality series Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which ended in June 2021 after 20 seasons. Madonna is giving a glimpse of her family skiing trip. The 63-year-old singer and actress shared photos Sunday on Instagram featuring Rocco Ritchie, her 21-year-old son, with her ex-husband Guy Ritchie. One photo shows uh, Madonna holding onto Rocco's arm as they take a stroll in the village. The pair both wear sunglasses, with Madonna also sporting a navy uh, ski suit. Uh, the, she captioned the post, I know a lot of fancy words. I tear them from my heart and my tongue. Then I pray, hashtag Mary Oliver, hashtag Rocco. Madonna and her family spent New Year's weekend on the snowy getaway. Madonna previously posted a photo with her son David uh, Banda 16 in a video of her nine-year-old daughters Esther uh, Ciccone and Stella Ciccone on the slopes. Uh, she captioned Frozen, hashtag Estero Stella, hashtag Frozen, add uh, Monsieur, uh, which featured uh, her song Frozen. The weekend will return with new music this week. The 31-year-old singer-songwriter said in an Instagram post Monday they will release his fifth studio album, Dawn FM, on Friday. The weekend shared the news alongside a teaser for the album that promises a new sonic universe from the mind of the weekend. The sneak peek showed an age, ver- uh, an age version of the weekend spot a woman in a club. A person says in the voiceover, you're now listening to 103.5 Dawn FM. You've been in the dark for way too long. It's time to walk into the light and accept your fate with open arms. The new video will feature collaborations with Jim Carrey, uh, Quincy Jones, Tyler the Creator, Little Wayne, and One Tricks Point Never. Cheap Thrick will launch a Las Vegas residency show in February 2022. The rock band announced in an Instagram post Sunday that they will perform two weekends at the Strat Hotel and Casino. The show will run from February 25th to and 26th and March 4th and 5th. Tickets go on sale on Monday. Bassist Tom Peterson says, can't wait to finally get back on the road with Cheap Thrick. I hope to see you during our Las Vegas residency at the Strat. Happy New Year. Uh, Brad Goldberg, the SVP of Marketing and Entertainment for Golden Entertainment, Inc., which owns the Strat, told the Las Vegas Review Journal that the show will be a party for fans. He says, we aren't br- just bringing rock and roll to the Las Vegas Strip. We're throwing a party. We're thrilled to add Chief Thrick to our lineup of legendary rock residencies at the Strat for what will be a once-in-a-lifetime experience for fans. Um, Adam Streck of SP Entertainment, which books the Strat, had nothing but praise for Chief Trick. He said, Bands of all time, they are revered by so many musicians. We're excited for them to play their greatest hits. Chief Trick released their 20th studio album in another world in April. And finally, Quavo from the rap group Migos is reflecting on one of the group's recent appearances at WWE's Day One event, saying that it was a wish come true. Uh, Quavo said alongside a photo of himself and fellow Migos members offset and take off at day one. My one wish as a kid came true at WWE. Thanks. Migos joined uh, Raw Tag Team Champions RK Bro, consisting of Randy Orton and Riddle, as they made their entrance at day one. Migos also reviewed RK Bro's match against the Street Profits from the announcer's table and later celebrated with both teams inside the ring. Quavo was able to greet fans while standing on the turnbuckle. Day one also featured Brock Lesnar becoming WWE champion in shocking fashion after he defeated Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and David Lashley in a five-way, a fatal five-way match. Lesnar was originally slated to face Roman Reigns. However, Reigns dropped out of the event due to testing for COVID. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. I'm your host, Mr. Dan Tam Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. 
Good night, and God bless you all.